What's going on, Major League Video Marketing? Nicholas Ayers. Uh, it is Friday, May 31st, and I'm wanting to uh, come to you guys because I think this would be kind of a fun thing to do. So we have somebody here in the group who's somewhat local to me. His name is Tim. Tim is in the marketing space, and he helps mortgage uh, loan officers, realtors, people in the real estate space in general with their marketing. Uh, I believe he's primarily helping them on Facebook. He is wanting to get in, into YouTube advertising. He's not inside of our Major Look program. However, he shot me this email with this video and he said, hey, would you mind doing a review or a critique of this video? Because we want to run it as a YouTube ad. To which I said, sure, I thought it'd be a fun exercise. Um, I'm going to be completely brutally honest because I know that's exactly what Tim wants. I'm going to try to give constructive, constructive criticism. Um, and then I asked him, hey, can I do this in this group? To which he agreed. So that's where we're at. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play this video. We're going to watch it. As you can see on the timer, it's 1 minute and 11 seconds. And then I'm going to give my feedback on the video. Okay? So here we go. Here's the video. Are you tired of renting and paying somebody else's mortgage? What is stopping you from buying a house in 2019? Is it your credit? Do you think you don't have enough money for a down payment? Or maybe you just don't know where to start. My name is Doug and I've helped tons of families just like yours. And this is why we have made it quick and easy to help you find out where you stand right now and what it will take to get you to where you want to be. I will take the time to make sure you get the best possible program that fits you and your family's needs. For making the whole loan process paperless to being able to answer any and all of your questions. Call, text, send a drone, or email me. I'm here to make the process easy so you do not feel like you're alone. Let's face it, the Sacramento region rents are out of control, but interest rates are still low even though they're expected to rise, so now, is the right time to make a move. Great job. See, it's that easy. Fill out the assessment below and let's make home ownership happen for you and your family in 2019. Okay, so I wrote down just a quick couple notes here. Uh, first off, let me say that the video itself, from just a video standpoint, is very well done. The guy on camera, I already forget his name, and that's part of it. Uh, the guy on camera did a great job. Was likable, seemed personable, was great on camera. Awesome. From an advertising perspective, if you're going to use this video in advertising, I think it works well as a general branding awareness video. I would not use this video for lead generation. Let me rephrase this. Let me, let me give some clarity here. If the anticipation or the hope is that this video is going to generate a ton of leads, then I would really temper those expectations. I don't believe, although very well done, I don't believe it's set up how I would want to do it, and that's important, how I would want to do it when it comes to lead generation. And here's why. Let's let's just break it down. So on YouTube, you've got how many seconds before someone can skip the ad? Six seconds. At the six second mark, they can skip it. Well, let's just go to the six second mark. Let's just go through seconds one through six and let's see what we see. Are you tired of renting and paying somebody else's mortgage? What is stopping you? So right there, they can skip the button. They can skip this video. And while I like the video while I like him jumping on camera all that I think that stuff works better on YouTube I'm, I'm sorry that stuff works better it's still it's not even eight o'clock here yet that stuff works way better on Facebook than it does on YouTube on YouTube they're gonna see the ad they're gonna see it on Facebook you've got to stop their scroll you've got to get them to pay attention and so you have to do those things you have to put your hand on the camera you got to jump in you got to do something that makes them stop scrolling Oh, I'm giving you guys a little peep show here. That makes a lot more sense. On YouTube, you've just burned a second or two, jump in front of camera, and looking like you're out of breath. So that needs to... I would do away with that. That first six seconds is prime real estate for what you need to do. And so you 
need to have a very compelling reason for them to keep watching. And the way that you're going to have a very compelling reason is, is through a couple different things. Either bring affinity. How are they, How is he going to relate to them? Is he local? Is he calling them out by name? Is he referencing something that they might have a similar interest in? Affinity, right? What is their affinity? Now, in the video, he does mention an affinity. Uh, it was at the 48 second mark. Let me get to that. So we're at second 45. Listen to what he does at 48 seconds. You do not feel like you're alone. Let's face it, the Sacramento region rents are out of control. Let's face it, Sacramento region rents are out of control. You put that in the first six seconds, if I'm from Sacramento and I'm targeting Sacramento, in that, if I'm targeting Sacramento and I'm in Sacramento and I'm in this audience, there's a very strong chance that before I watch, I, I click to watch my Joe Rogan podcast, that's going to cause me to stop the scroll. The same concept on Facebook. So I would lead with that first from a scripting standpoint. Bring affinity, bring a strong, compelling reason for them not to immediately hit skip. The other thing, and these, um, I just wrote these down in order. They're, they're, um, they're, as, as I saw them on screen, there's no particular order of importance beyond this point. So one thing I also noticed is right here. Oh, okay, great. I, lo I love showing the Yelp reviews. I love that. I think that's awesome. I'd make those emojis bigger though. And I'd even make them like, you know, maybe twirl or something. I Semantics, small details, not, not make or break, not life or death. I put bigger emojis. Here's uh, getting back to the other part. And again, I said that there was no particular order on this. You need to have a very strong offer up front. You need to bring them a reason to continue watching the video. I felt in this video, the guy went into sales mode way too fast. He was instantly selling. That is a turn off. Think about the platforms. And I'm going to make a vlog on this. I kind of did already. So if you guys go to my YouTube channel, shameless plug, go to my YouTube channel, Major Look Video Marketing, subscribe. I have a vlog uh, that I did two weeks ago, Facebook versus YouTube. I break this down. People are using Facebook much differently than they're using in a different reason in a different way manner fashion than they're using youtube youtube is an entertainment platform and it is an education platform so you need to educate them you need to instill a and this is what separates a lot of winning youtube ad campaigns from those that flop and fail you need to build trust and rapport. The best way you're going to do that is to demonstrate authority. And the best way to demonstrate authority is well, there's two ways. Number one, with proof. Uh, and number two, with education. Show that you actually know something. Demonstrate some authority. And so I would still use the pitch. The pitch, the sales was great. But move that closer to the end. And before you do that, you need to educate. So think about this way you scripted this, this ad, Tim. Strong offer up front, Sacramento rents, regional rents are out of control. And then go into, wh why are you paying somebody else's mortgage when you can be living in the home of your dreams? Whatever it might be. Right? It's a little vague. I'd actually make that a little bit more specific. Then go into a, an educational piece. And that educational piece can be 20 seconds, 30 seconds. Doesn't really matter. Something that displays authority. And then get to the pitch. Why this dude? Why him? The last thing I wrote again in six and in, in just watching this in a minute is you have a call to action here. Is the right time to make a move. Great job. See, it's that easy. Fill out the assessment. Fill out the assessment form below. Takes you a minute to get into it, which is fine. I might sprinkle that in a little bit more because on YouTube, the button's going to already be there. So I would, in my pitch, say Sacramento residents that are clicking on the button below and filling out our form are, make sure you click the form below. I would repeat the call to action more than once. I'd have it more than once in this video. Uh, and I would also probably do something, uh, an animation on the screen. You've already displayed that 
showcase that you know how to do that. Something with an arrow, make it simple where it's pointing down to the button. Make the call to action more, uh, uh, make it happen throughout the video and do more to draw attention to that button. Make it very simple for them. Click the button below. That's what I have on, on this review. Again, great, great stylistically. It's, it's fantastic. I think it's built better for a Facebook ad than a YouTube ad. And I would reverse some things, tweak some things in your script in the order of its importance. So, hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions, Tim. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this, feel free to leave your feedback on the video. Um, and then, if you want me to review videos for you, I'm happy to do so under two conditions. Number one, if I think it's a bad video, I'm going to tell you it's a bad video. So, we have to have some thick skin. But it's all meant to try to help you. I'm going to give you, I'm not just going to tear down your video. I'm going to tell you what I think you should do. Number two, you allow me to do this in, the, in, the, in this group. So, uh, if you guys have any questions. And also, if you guys are looking to learn more about YouTube ads specifically and you want me to help you in creating those and delivering those and and making a youtube ad strategy work for you and your business then make sure you uh you sign up for our free training that we just released i'll put a link in this video love to have you on the uh, major look team and uh again we do this stuff all you know this is what we do in our program so we want to help you get the best results with your youtube ads and you know really kind of do what you're wanting to do and what you're looking to achieve and that is build your business with video marketing all right guys you guys have a great day i'll talk to you soon